the real world. Science and mathematics helps us to understand and identify, define and recognize problems. The technology and the engineering helps us to solve those problems. We can use this software to solve problems such as congestion or stress levels in Singapore. I just came here to learn more new stuff like some of the programs I don't know yet so I can learn it over here. After graduation we can use the skills we learn. I really wanted to widen my knowledge about science, learning how to apply all those formulas and concepts into like real life situations. This workshop is really interesting as it really helps me in the understanding of the programming and the robotics. I learned about serving portions and how elderly can benefit if they have a balanced diet and more about food science. For STEM education, right, uh, students are able to learn how to identify problems and how to solve them. You find everywhere there will be engineering technology around you. So therefore, it's important that students to learn engineering skills. Participating in this competition has uh, definitely sparked my interest in uh, coding and I think I will consider pursuing coding in the future. When I was doing the programming, sometimes when the M-Bot went haywire, it was really frustrating. It's like, really I want to quit this competition. But then at the end, I managed to finish this competition. It's for me being able to apply what I learned in class into a real world context. For myself, uh, since I'm able to build a car, like a real car that can move with my teammates, it's pretty awesome that uh, to see how science can really apply to our life. They must be able to communicate with each other, also same time able to work independently. Hopefully students with such aptitude would want to think about having a career in this area as well. Our success in this competition and the fact that we got through the course without any penalties is um, proof that we, we are actually breaking the stereotype that only guys can do programming but us, a team of five girls, managed to perform very well in this competition. After the whole challenge, our group are more interested in the engineering and the robotics because of the things we researched and we understand. More importantly, we learn what is the true meaning of teamwork because we really couldn't do it on our own and we require a lot of um, people getting together and people having to manage their time and really sacrifice a lot for this competition itself, for the whole project to work smoothly. When we did the graphs, we had a lot of miscommunication and it helped me learn a lot about teamwork. I really gained interest in subject and STEM Challenge really gave me a big insight into what STEM subjects can offer you in the future. The Shell STEM Youth Innovation Challenge is a celebration of innovation and collaboration. Both of these are critical and they're critical to solve those pressing problems that we face today. Through the STEM challenge, we see the Science Centre of Singapore and five polytechnics and many participating schools coming together to nurture the bright minds of today for the future. I'm inspired and truly heartened by the innovations I've seen today. Science also requires a certain personal touch in the same way that you have come together as teams to think about problems, to apply your skill sets, and to develop your innovative solutions, science needs that personal relationship between educators, between industry, between individuals. You need the applied learning, you need the innovation that comes from getting young people involved, and you need that personal touch of bringing people together. And today, all of that comes together in an example like our STEM challenge.